All right, so this is my initial setup. I had two buckets, my my sea lamb ready and my wood pellets. But when I hydrated the pellets, uh, ended up being a lot more than I expected. So I had to add two more bottles. There were five liter bottles. So I took pictures of the progress of the mycelium developing, as you can see uh, in the, I had, a, I had it put in a closet in a dark place. It was cool. That's what I read worked. So it did work eventually. The tape that I have is just a regular masking tape that I poked holes through. Uh, one of the bottles ended up molding, so I cut out a big chunk of it, but that wasn't enough. As you can see, it still developed mold, but eventually mushrooms started growing from the side. So I cut out the plastic, but uh, yeah, that ended up drying out. So I ended up building a, a tent and as you can see, mushrooms were growing really well. They, uh, they were developing really well, but eventually they started coraling because the CO2 levels were too high. Uh, but yeah, they were growing nonetheless, which uh, which was really, really cool. Uh, I didn't expect them to grow that much and that quick. So it was very, very exciting. But uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. So this is my first harvest. I can't really get it to look like it's supposed to. It's a little bit too orange. It's not that orange. Maybe like this. Yeah, that's better. So you can see there's a lot of corals. What do you want, man? You want some mushrooms? This is what they look like when you don't give them enough oxygen and there is way too much CO2. Also, again, I don't know if this is visible in the camera too well, but this and, and here. So these right here. What do you want, man? Why are you complaining? Uh, a little bit pink. And that's because they were too wet. It was way too wet over on this side. So it turned a little bit pink. There's a little bit pink here as well. But that's it. So this is my first harvest. And oh, you can see the pink in this one a lot better. I think. So 200 so far. It's not a lot. I expected like three kilograms, two, two, three kilograms, and I got 350 grams. Okay, this is what I'm working with right now. It's a bit of a step up from the bucket that I started with. This is the exhaust running to the side. And uh, I tried to glue these zippers to the plastic, but it did not work at all. And uh, I almost just tore everything in rage because it took me literally six hours of non-stop sweating over it on my bed because I don't have a workshop or anything else. So I had to try to put this thing together on top of my bed and it was miserable. And yeah, this is what I, <laughs> this is what I ended up with eventually. Everything failed. So when everything fails, uh, you know, duct tape won't let you down. So as much as I didn't want to use duct tape, I kind of had to. So this is what it is. Uh, it's barely held together. And I don't think it works. That's the worst part because it took me so long. And uh, it's better than the previous model, which was essentially the same thing, except uh, it had no ventilation uh, and it had just holes here for ventilation, like three holes here and then one hole in each level. And that wasn't enough. Uh, the CO2 levels are, were spiking. So now I added the fan and it's pulling all the air from down here and it's being held, that's a little bit too dark. It's being held by this. It's a little, I don't know what it is. It's a little sponge thing that I found in the box of the humidifier. So I thought, hey, I can, I can hold up the plastic here so that there's enough space for the air to uh, to go inside and at the moment actually it is at 66 oh my god i turned it off for a second because it was getting too humid oh, i've been running it all day and i was like you know what maybe uh, actually all right full blast 66 percent not good so i don't know if you can see it in the camera but you should see the steam or 
yeah you can see it swirling i don't know if you can see it i can see it but it's swirling in here and it goes up but that's the other mistake that i made these are solid pieces they don't have holes terrible for ventilation and that's why i have inflated surgical gloves on each level here and also on the back right here so that it can keep the plastic pulled away otherwise it just sucks it up and there's just zero ventilation between the between the levels so let's open it up you can see what's inside uh, and yeah I'm not I'm not seeing the mushrooms develop which is really sad so I decided to buy a grow box so this is the last time you'll be seeing this thing it's getting scrapped but yeah this is what it looks like inside you can see with the light and that's where I cut the mushrooms and as you can see it's still it's kind of it's dry it's uh, it's been over 90% humidity but it is dry and I'll turn on the lamp here uh, but yeah it's dry as you can see here it's not it's not moist at all and there it's supposed to be a little mushroom coming out but it just does not want to pop out right here I actually didn't turn the bucket so you can see it better and look at that it's ready it just does not want to come out and I don't know why I'm starting to lose my mind uh, so this is the other mushroom that's developed on, the, on this side but it's barely growing it's growing better than the other ones not really actually now that I look at it it's pretty much the same thing and again I just don't understand because before this the problem was the CO2 levels they were way too high and now the CO2 levels are perfect they're below 500 and I got a little crappy machine here if it even turns on yeah so should be able to see it it's 440 right now and when I close it up it goes up to like five five something 570 but it doesn't go too much higher than that and that's okay there's the fan by the way let's put this on the second level where there's not that much ventilation and it should still remain it should still remain under 600 which is supposed to be under 1000 so it's fine even even 700 it's fine uh, but before that it was well over a thousand it was like 1200 it was clearly the issue uh, now the humidity is perfectly fine it's over 90% not now because I forgot to turn this on but it's constantly at 90% it just does not want to work so like I said this is the last time you'll be seeing this um, tomorrow I should be getting a grow box also got some lights some neon strip lights uh, in a hose which I'm going to be installing under each raft in a circle and uh yeah i, I think I, I don't know i'll make a video i guess of of the new box that'll be really really cool i, I kind of wanted to keep it authentic in a sense uh, i wanted to build my own thing as crappy as it is it, it, there's, there's somewhat of a satisfaction of you know looking at something that you built yourself and it working it doesn't really matter i don't really care about how it looks I just want it to work and it's just not working and I don't know why. Uh, I'm a newbie, so this is the first time I ever tried this. Uh, like I said, I started with a bucket. Now I'm here and the grow box is gonna be the next step up and hopefully, hopefully uh, it will work. Hopefully it will be worth it and my investment will actually pay off and I won't just scrap it. Because if that doesn't work, then I just don't know uh, what the issue is. So yeah, we shall see. Uh, I'll just I guess I'll keep you guys updated I'll, I'll, maybe I'll make a video on the grow box like I said but this is it for now um, these are my lion's mane mushrooms uh, so it's been one harvest hopefully there'll be more 
and then uh, I'm also going to be adding some other mushrooms since uh, this worked sort of uh, I think I can uh, manage to try growing some other mushrooms it would be really really cool